Hey folks, I'm Roman the Demon Warship Andromeda Ascendant. Who else would I be? Welcome back aboard the Andromeda. It is a glorious Friday, which can only mean one thing. It is time for another tip to toe video. Woo! Um, this one I'm going to be calling Far, Far Away. Um, it's quite interesting how it got its title, actually. Uh, I was looking through several pictures to try and kind of get an idea of what to bring to you this time. And you all know I like my purples and uh, myself and my love are like rainbows and bright colours and dark colours and pretty much everything in between. Um, but I was looking for something that would go well with purple hair. And I basically selected several pictures and I asked my other half's opinion, which would you like to see me do? And he picked this one. And it was quite um, funny because by the time he'd finished describing it um, in his way, I said, well, yeah, it's kind of like an Egyptian eye, more or less. And he went, yeah, I like the looks of things that come from seem like they come from far, far away. So there you go, that's the title. He is actually into a lot of Korean um, period dramas, kind of. Um, and in one of them, one of the uh, rich people. Um, basically, he's kind of pretty much getting ousted by this point. Um, he's one of the wealthiest people in the village. And um, you see him in a mirror applying his makeup, suddenly surrounded by 30 people you know, that are trying to kill him. He's like, any one of you bastards make me fuck up my makeup and I'll kill you all now. So he finishes his makeup and then goes, right then, and kills them all anyway. So, <laughs> so apparently this made him think of that. So that's why we're doing it. Today I'm going to be using the Sleek Makeup Palette, um, I Divine, and it's the original 594, uh, because it has the colors in that I pretty much want that are close to the look um, that we're going for. But uh, interestingly, this one has um, Black Cab Royal, London Rain, the Thames, E10, um, Hyde Park, Cream Tea, which we will be using, um, London Eye, Big Ben, Penny Farthing, Sterling, and Banksy. Uh, so basically, the ones that we're going to be using oops, in this palette is um, Royal, the Thames, and Cream Tea and maybe a little bit of uh, black cap as well so let's get on with the look and i'm also going to be doing something very similar with the lips as well maybe i'll bring them out a little bit so sort of like follow the eye but on lips instead and now i'm going to basically it's kind of a, a cut crease but kind of not um so first of all i'm gonna use this is actually from um, my brow kit it's actually um chocolate mousse uh, in color because we don't want it too harsh. I know it is in the picture, but we can sort of like build on it later. At the moment, we just want to kind of map out the area. Now, of course, me hooded eyes, sometimes I have to kind of like extend it further than it would be. But I think with this one, we might get away with it. So, to call it the mouse, on the brush. And let's start with mapping out. In fact, where the hood actually comes over we can pretty much start just above that and follow the line naturally all the way down so we're going to do that oops helps get the brush the right way around i'm not going all the way to the inner corner but i'd say probably leave maybe two brush widths and then start but you know leave the sort of like that corner bit and then start you'll see what i mean when i do it I'm literally going to follow my own <laughs> advice would be nice. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> just to get that on there. I don't want to press too heavy at the moment because this could end up going anywhere. Helps if you've got enough in the brush because it dries out very quickly this one for some reason the thing is with these i do need a little bit of pressure but i don't want to put too much pressure on and get it wrong <laughs> all right so now that i've got that there and i know where the height is and stretch my eyes slightly 
and follow it. Basically, actually following the socket rather than the lid. And this one doesn't go all the way down as it starts to curve in, it just goes straight out pretty much. A little bit more. I don't want to put too much on this one because this is only a teeny sketch in the right one in a little bit when we fill it out of colour. See, as you can see, already working. And with this one I'm going to take it straight down. Don't want to take it too close to the brow. And then take that slightly again following the angle of the natural line with your eye. The angle from the under eye, I guess you would say. I apologise if the sound on this is rather quiet. I was testing it early and for some reason my settings have kind of changed but as you can see all drawn out ready um do the same on the other side it looks kind of <laughs> weird when yeah there you go we've got the arch it just looks a little bit strange then but it was the camera catching it with the frame right so it looks square at one point it's like huh no it's not <laughs> so yeah we've got the arch in and the the wing drawn out so we came pretty much straight down and then out i'm gonna do the same on the other side and then um, we'll start to uh, play with the colour. So I shall catch you in a second as soon as I've drawn out the other one and then we'll get onto the colour. Okay, so both sides mapped out and drawn in. Before I get onto the colour, I'm just going to soften um, those edges a little bit and I'm going to use a uh, Morphe 431 brush. It's kind of a tiny little pencil brush, um, quite detailed. And uh, the colour that I'm using for this one is London Rain. It's um, the kind of, oops, it's that colour in between. Those are the two colours that I'm going to be using, but that's kind of close to the, you know, to blend out the black so it's not quite so harsh. So, even though it's not actually black, it's more to quality mouse. But this is going to make this look cute. And also, tidy up just a little bit as well. We're not going over it, we're sticking to the line and maybe slight bit under, but definitely, definitely not over. Basically just sealing in the gel that we used as well. only need a seriously tiny tiny amount for this not going too far over there because we don't want to make the wing thick at all which I kind of did a little bit but hey well <laughs> same on the other side and then we can get to the colour Okay, so moving on to colour, we're going to use um, the one which is called Royal and I'm going to find, da -da 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 -da, which one do I want? Kind of a packing brush more or less, it's the Morphe M124 and it has like a flat kind of, well not flat, but an oval 
edge, but it's not a fluffy brush. It's a yeah, you get what I mean. And use Royal. Start at the outer sides, and we're going to basically first of all find where that line is and take it up there. to the um, cat wing and I hate doing these and then we're going to bring it into about just where the corner of the eye is and just literally fill it in quite thick back it on And if you notice from the picture, this look doesn't actually have any looks underneath. So I have taken that a little bit low, but I might actually um, sort of like <laughs> use my own initiative with that one. And I may take it underneath, I may not. And I don't know how, but I've got black fallout down there. <laughs> Let's get rid of it. Actually, it's probably purple from this. I'm going to do the same again on the inner corner as well. Just that first corner. Then pack it in as much as you can. And take it all the way to the corner of the eye. And if you want to, tidy up that line with it by bringing it up a little bit. And you want to be quite thick with it because they are very shimmery, deep colours. And what I'm going to do a little bit as well, is I'm going to go over the arch and tidy it up a little bit with this. There we go. Same on the other side, and then we'll get to the lighter colour. Okay, so both sides done. Now we need to move on to the lighter colour, and this one is the Thames. It's kind of a, a murky blue. So <coughs> I don't know why it's called the Thames, because the Thames is more like a murky grey, and on this one, um, E10. There we go. Um, E10 on this one is probably more like the actual colour of the Thames, but we're going to use the one that says it's called the Thames, which is a bluish colour. Um, pack a load on the brush, same brush, just a clean one. And blend from the dark one into the middle, leaving enough, oh, sorry, uh, leaving, you know, this area kind of clean. So we can do the pretty, almost like a halo effect, I guess, with the gold, or kind of gold, I guess. Blend that in from the purple. Again, from the inside corner. Too much on this side because we're already working with limited space, especially on my eyes. Okay, there you go. The blue is now into the purple. That one I probably came in a little bit close, but not to worry. What I'm going to do now. Um, after I've obviously done the other side, is I'm going to um, put a little bit of concealer in there, cover it with white, and then it gives a, um, a decent base for the cream cheeks. We put cream cheeks straight on that one. Yes, it is a um, kind of a bright shimmery colour, um, this one, 
but I don't think it would translate well on translate well on a new die, so we're going to give it like a bright base by using a white concealer. So I'm going to do this side, apply the concealer, and then we'll come back and do the, uh, the colour. So I shall see you in a second. Okay, so we're back, and what I did basically was apply a little bit of concealer to the um, eyelid, and then um, sealed it with some white flashback from the um, James Charles palette. And now I'm going to go back to the um, packing brush that I was using a moment ago if I can find it, the E124, and we're going to now um, use uh, cream tea, which is the um, gold one, or kind of a goldish colour. I'm literally going to lay this on, in fact I might actually do this one with my finger, depending on how well this brush does. Because shimmery colours were meant to be applied with warm fingers. I don't know, it just seems to transfer better. Brushes don't always get the effect that you want. So, in with the finger instead. And put that everywhere. It takes forever to build up, it takes forever to build up. But we want it all in there. I suppose I could have probably used a slightly more yellowy gold, perhaps. But I don't think I actually have one that bright. Unfortunately. Although perhaps if I'd have used a yellow base as well, that might have helped a little bit. But as long as the centre is bright and we're all good. Same again, other side. Literally coat it all over. Had this one, don't want to play. There it is. Found it. I'm going to go from the outside edge as well in because you want more in the middle but blended into the other two colours. I'm going to go slightly back in with those in a minute as well. to blend this in a little bit better because at the moment on the camera it's still looking a little bit white so because the colour is actually gold well, it's kind of gold I used to have some lovely um, glitters which would have worked with this. I have to get some again. This would have set this colour off really, really nice. There you go, slightly more gold now. Clean the brush, grab the blue, and dust that into the gold just to tidy the gold up a little bit. Same on that side. And I'm going to take it just over the top as well so that the halo sticks to the middle. 
rather than all over because we did have a little bit of spillover with the um, the white earlier so she's just touching them back up again in the blue into the gold See money inside I'm going to try and keep that circular shape as well if you can but if you can't don't worry there you go taking that blue over like I say to cover up the where the white <laughs> took out a little bit and then go back in with the royal touch up the edges because like I say the white did diminish it a little bit so we'll put it back in and blend it into the blue a little bit same on the inner side just that touch there in the corner and then once we finish this we're going to do something quite similar with the lips and of course I've still got to do the um, the eyeliner and the uh, mascara but that is a pain in the butt to do so I'll probably attempt to do that rather daintily <laughs> off camera and then come back and show you the finished look but we're going to do the lips now and then I'll do the um, the eyeliner and lashes <laughs> off cam so let's move on to the lips and we're going to try and make them a similar colour so we're going to line in black um, start with a darker purple lighter blue highlight gold in the middle and see what we get I guess <laughs> so I want I'm not going to use the um, the angled brush because I don't need it this time what I'm actually going to use is a liner from uh, the brow kit to draw the lips in with just right on the edge let's hope it works because this pencil is actually kind of a little bit dry for some reason Oh, this one we're going over we're over drawing the lips so there's lots of room for colour Well, same with this one. Overdraw. Sounds like a bank balance, doesn't it? Overdraw.
and then same on the bottom, overdraw them completely. This one's easy, you can just move your lip. <laughs> it draws itself. So there are overdrawn lips with my lid. There it is, escape finger. Lined out ready. Then I'm going to get this little Morphe one, uh, M152 brush and start off with Royal. And I'm going to take that to the outer edge. I said about the first third of the lip, maybe. About there. That's what use the right side of the brush with the colour on, doesn't it? <laughs> Same on this side. Really pack it on. I'm going to take that up a little bit in a second. I think. Okay, maybe not. Match down here. Really get that colour in there. Because we want this to be as bold and as visible as the eyes. It's like a mirror on the lips. Huh? <laughs> okay, so that one done. Clean brush. I do actually have another one of these here, but I'm going to use this one because I'm lazy. And in with the Thames, the lighter of the blue. I'd say um, Royal is kind of, it's a Royal blue, but it's kind of got a little bit of purple in it, which is cute. It's like a deep blue with a real hint of purple. We like purple. So that's going to go just up. To keep its bow and blend in a little bit with the royal. I'm going to leave this centerpiece here free. Same with the other side, just up to the bow.
and at the bottom just leave that tiny space on the lip. Some people think it's cheating using um, eyeshadows for lips, but it works, you know? And then finally, I'm going to actually use a clean brush for this one, in with the cream tea. Get a bit of gold on there. Right in the middle. On the keep it to bow. and then blend it out a little bit into the blue. As much on there as we can to make it really stand out. Get it coated. Same on the bottom, just a little bit, just a lot. Nah. Into the blue. So there you go, ombre lips to match the eyes. And what I'm going to do now is, very quickly off camera, I'm going to try and get the liner and my lashes done, sort my hair out and come back and show you the finished look. Maybe add a little bit of contour and highlight to um, nose and face just to tidy it up a little bit. And I shall see you all in a couple of moments. Stay tuned. So folks, here we are with the finished look. Off camera, I applied uh, mascara and the winged liner. Um, had to put a minuscule amount on because you notice hooded eyes, as soon as I do that, pretty much the look itself disappears. So very minimal amount compared to the picture. Uh, and highlight and contour around the nose and cheeks and sorted out the hair. And that's pretty much it. So not sure it does go with purple hair, but Oh well, perhaps a little bit too dark, I think. Maybe something lighter next time. But that is the finished look of the far, far away episode uh, three of Tip to Toe of 2022. Sorry, 2022. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> 2020. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share it. And also, if you are feeling really generous, um, subscribe to my Patreon as well. And I shall catch you all on the next episode of Tip to Toe. Don't forget, tomorrow will be the um, first series of On the Holodeck, which is going to be Star Trek Bridge Crew. On Sundays, um, there's going to be a second series running alongside it. I'm not sure which game I'm going to be choosing yet, but it will be um, this week. So you've got Tip to Toe today, Bridge Crew tomorrow, and a second series of On the Holodeck running concurrently. So basically, every week I'm posting this and two gaming episodes, and possibly a lot more as well. So, thanks for watching. This Miss That's the Stifle Expression for Far, Far Away.
Like that.